Hi there, Jill Briggs is my name and I'm the Managing Director of Rural Training Initiatives and I'm the manager of the Growing Leaders Program and have been for a number of years. So this is your welcome message to the Growing Leaders 2016 program and also an information session uh, about the residential in Melbourne starting on the 5th of April at 8.30 in the morning. So congratulations on being accepted into the program. Thank you for those people who have got their logistics lined up, their accommodation, their flights, their transport, all their bags packed. Uh, thank you to those people who have had to pay for the program, the um, supply chain members of the team. Now, a couple of you hadn't, haven't paid, so if you could get onto that in the next couple of seconds, that would be terrific. Um, so, again, welcome and congratulations. I really am looking forward to working with you for the next six to eight months, and I'd also like to say that so are Rena and Cynthia. My co Cynthia Marnie, who is my co-facilitator for the program, and Rena Cooper, who is the admin officer for Rural Training Initiatives. And some of you will have had quite a lot of contact with Rena. So they make the program tick, and so do I, and uh, it's going to be great fun. So let me give you some logistics about the program. So the first thing to think about is that it's three days and it's a really busy three days. So if your family's got the impression that you're going on holidays and you're going to have time to go off and buy them some presents, you probably need to burst that bubble because that isn't going to happen, not unless you're planning on staying on for another couple of days. It's a really busy, fun, challenging three days. And I figure that that's why you enrolled in the program, because you wanted to be pushed a bit. And we'll push you, but you'll have fun being pushed and you'll have great learning from the process. So the three days is busy. If you're thinking that you're going to catch up with relatives, um, then you probably want to park that as well. The program is going to be run basically at the Holiday Inn in, on Flinders Lane in Melbourne. Now, if you're living in Melbourne, and you're thinking that you're going to drive in and out every day, I'm absolutely fine with that. But I also know that Melbourne's roads are pretty awful at the moment, so you might want to reconsider. And to also know for all of you, but particularly those people who think they might be able to do the transit stuff every day, is that um, there are expectations that you're going to do some work on the Tuesday evening and there's an industry dinner on the Wednesday evening. So there's not a huge amount of time to be travelling in and out from Dandenong or Cranbourne or wherever you might be thinking you can transit from. So that's the first thing. The second thing is about the logics is logic is that we're going to be out at the new Melbourne market site out at out on Cooper's Road Street, whatever it is, uh, out at Epping, and that is going to be for most of Wednesday. So we're heading out there really early on Wednesday morning. And we're out there till about probably four o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, and that tour is going to see us, I think, wandering around the market. Now, it's a bit of an unknown quantity. We haven't been out there yet, so we're really excited to be doing it with you. But if uh, you want to come prepared, Melbourne can be blowing cold at any time, four seasons in one day. So make sure you've got enclosed uh, shoes for that tour and also I would put in something a warm vest or something because it could be quite chilly out there on the Wednesday. The Wednesday evening is the industry dinner and we have people coming in from all walks of the industry to meet you and to have dinner with you. Uh, that's paid for by us and we pay for their meal as well. Uh, but you might want to get a bit frocked up for that event. So a suit and tie would be good for the blokes and a good uh, business outfit for the women would be terrific. Now, if you're not sure what any of that means, make sure you get in contact and we can give you a few more details. Uh, so the other thing that you need to know is that we provide all of the materials for the three days. Um, and of course, the venue will provide you with a pen. Uh, but if you have a favourite pen that you like to use, then bring that along. But all of your ma learning materials, all the stuff that you need to write on, we provide for the three days. <clears throat> so come along knowing that you might be doing a bit of reading, you might be doing a bit of writing, but you're going to do a lot of thinking, quite a lot of talking and a lot of planning. So what else is on my list here? 
So how would we like you to approach the program? So what we would like you to do to get your brain ready for the program is to know that you will get as much from the program as you get as you put in. So come with your judgment suspended. You're thinking that you might know how the program operates, your understanding of the topics that might be covered. Just park that because if you come in with an open mind, then you're going to get the most from the program. So we'd encourage you to do that. We'd also like you to come in knowing that um, we're going to want your ideas. Other people have got in the group are going to want to hear your ideas. So make sure you come um, willing to share your opinions, uh, being open to people questioning your opinions and also having the opportunity to form new ideas through other people sharing their ideas with you. So the other thing that often happens is people come knowing that a program starts at 8.30 and they think, oh, well, the first half an hour is always a bit of guff. Well, come at 8.30. That would be my suggestion. Get to the Holiday Inn at, so that you can be in the room ready to start at 8.30 because we start on time and we are off at a fairly rapid clip of pace. Of pace. So I think that's probably all I want to say. However... If you think there are some things that I haven't answered, please don't hesitate to call me, uh, drop me a line via email, talk to Rena, get in contact because we've done this for a number of years now and we'll probably, we'll probably know the answer. Read your briefing notes that we've sent through to you. Come along with your batteries as fully charged as, as you possibly can. Most of your work stuff parked for three days because you're probably not going to have a huge amount of time to deal with anything from work and um, ready to get involved and share your opinions and have us challenge you a bit. We're really looking forward to meeting you on the 5th of April at 8.30. And uh, again, don't hesitate to contact us if we can help you with anything. Talk to you soon. Bye.